Yeah, um, it's, it's tough really, emotions right now is because sometimes we lose games and I'm really, really gutted because I feel like we've not performed or um, we've not been at our best. I think, you know, today just the five moments have gone against us and um, we've created loads of chances. Actually, for the first half hour, we're excellent right in the front foot. Um, really started the second half poorly and give that goal away. You know, it was a poor goal from us to give away and give ourselves a bit of a, um, a mountain to climb. But it was right in the front foot, creating chances, you know, blocks, things dropping in the box, keeper making saves and then um, get punished late in the game, you know, with the second goal. So, uh, yes, it's a tough one to take today. Sometimes when we lose a game, I'm, uh, I'm like, right, we didn't play well, so we deserve to lose that game today. I don't feel that way. I just feel like right now have we lost the game. And uh, we did, like you said, start quite well. Um, Alabi and Durkan making their debuts. What did you make of their performances? Yeah, I thought they did fit really real. You know, Alabi backs in very well, and uh, you know we had a f two or three chances today. You know, and it wasn't uh, missing the target and like that. Keepers pulled off saves. He showed some real promising signs, and, and so did Dope. You know, he steps up with the ball really well. Um, he's athletic, he's strong, um, comfortable. So look, they've been with us a couple of days. Hit all three of them in scrimmy. I was, I was going to get scrimmy on a slightly earlier, but um, because we was on the front foot so much and we was in the ascendancy, sometimes when you make changes, it sort of takes a while to get going again. So I didn't want to do it too early. By the time I was bringing them on, we ended up conceding the second, which actually killed us. But um, yeah, there wasn't a want of not getting him on the pitch. I just didn't want to take us from being away on the front foot. So um, look, credit to Chesterfield. They've come and they've got the points, you know. Um, on another day, we'd have won that football match, but we haven't. Unfortunately, we've lost it, and um, look, they've got the three points in the go home happy. We did uh, keep fighting until the end, though, to try and get that extra, that one goal at least to start. I think that's a good sign that our heads didn't drop, even though we're in two minutes out. Yeah, look, there's a, there's a good spirit and togetherness in the group. I don't worry about anything like that. You know, you know, sometimes as a manager, if you lose games and you see people not working hard or trying or doing their own things, you know, you get, you know, you start worrying. But there wasn't any signs of that today. You know, the boys fought from the first minute to the last trying to win that game of football. Got punished for switching off from a throw, which we should have done better on. Um, there's no doubt about that. They, they ended up swinging the ball into a box and, you know, Denton, you know, he strength his head in the football. Um, it's not much else, but he can head the football very well. And um, credit to him, he finished it very well. So, um, and then the second goal, we've obviously made the changes. Smarty's gone up higher on the pitch, so it took away. We normally have two on the edge of the box, so we only had Paney. And I'm, um, I'm shouting from the from the sideline for one of the boys to come out to help on the edge of the box. Um, guys end up crossing it. Paney's gone to shut it down, and he's miskicked it, and it's gone to the next man. It's on the edge of the box. Look, sometimes like that, things like that happen in football. If the guy shoots and Paney blocks it. Um, but the, the fight and the togetherness and the spirit will grow and get better. But look, ultimately, the way you, you pick yourself up is by picking up points, you know, and we've got to try and do that away at Maidenhead next Saturday and then um, all the shot at home next Tuesday. A couple of games coming up thick and fast. And so, what's the coming trend moving on to the same Maidenhead? We've got eight games in the next month, so it's a busy period. Yeah. It's about just keeping the group together and we'll get the results. Yeah, because look, performances pick you up points, you know, on, on another day performing like that, we'd have picked up at least a point today, maybe three points. Um, if you don't, Play well, and you know, I hold my hands up. Away, all the shot we wasn't good enough. You know, we deserve to lose that game, and I didn't make any excuse for it. We deserve to lose that game. Um, but performances have to be good. If the performances come, then the points come with it. You know, um, and I see that today from the boys. There wasn't, there wasn't. They were trying to do the right things. There was, you know, getting plenty of balls in the box. You know, shots of goal. They just, the keeper had a good day. A couple of things didn't drop for us, which might have done. Um, yeah, so a frustrating thing, but like you said, eight games in the space of a month, there's plenty of games to pick up some points, and, and we'll try to do that.